go. We've got to hit the button. You say something too, Mark, Mark Maron. Maron. It sucks. Mark Maron is exploiting. No, you love Mark the Maron. His wife. <laughs> it's no. weird that him and Pat Oswalt. It's like you guys. You guys should compare specials and realize that you're stepping each other. You guys should cereal. start your own podcast. <laughs> they really should. <laughs> It'd probably be healthy for both. Dead of wife. We kind of knew. Take our take well, our wives. Pat knew his wife. Please don't take my wife. Don't take my wife, please. <laughs> Mark Maron and Pat, Maron and Pat the banner ad of the two of them <laughs> of them on audible.com yeah. <laughs> let me keep my wife please I'd like to keep her please bring back give me back my wife please oh alright I gotta do something here and the end of it is he just goes Lynn Shelton lives <laughs> lock the graves <laughs> That'd be a great uh, headline for when he dies. The- you should really pre you should pre write that and send it into <laughs> send it into Rolling Stone. Lock the graves. Lock the graves. Mark Marin has passed away at uh who knows? Driving a car entertainment pioneer, Mark Marin. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, drive time DJ Mark Maron, <laughs> daytime talk show host Mark Maron <laughs> has passed away. I'm gonna be like Maron. Uh, I was watching some show where they were like talking about it was some celebrity talking about like a weird appearance he did on like an Icelandic TV show, and he's like, "It's weird because they just have this guy." And then I, re- I was like looking at what the show is, and I realized this is just Jimmy Fallon. They just did Fallon, but with some Icelandic guy. So they just they, found a guy who knows how to laugh. No, then they showed a clip of the show, and it's it's clear that that guy just meant it's a talk show. <laughs> he just didn't. Understand <laughs> he had no context of. Talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> like if you'd have showed him a Steve Allen show clip, he'd be like, "This guy's doing Fallon <laughs> back in the 50s. It's Jesus. Carson's like this Fallon Carson guy. Fallon. This Carson guy, he's a little, he's pre, he's a... <laughs> Proto-Fallon. He's Pre-Fallon. Yeah. <laughs> Proto-Fallon. Uh, uh, Proto-Fallon sounds like some weird genitalia. Proto-Fallon is a, is a medicine <laughs> that uh, Joe Rogan has been telling people to take. <laughs> Proto-Fallon is our advertiser this week. Yeah. <laughs> If you go to protofallon.com and put in the promo code funny dinner, yeah. they'll give you uh it costs more. It costs more. <laughs> they should do that more. They should be like, hey, also if you put in this thing, they just it's a tip to us. It's, it's okay. <laughs> And when you buy milk, you go, I like... I like funny dinner. I like funny dinner. Then they, the person goes, all right. And they give us a little boost. <laughs> give us two bucks. If you're willing to... <laughs> it does nothing for you, but it, it's a little kickback for us. You'll just sound autistic. Yeah. But they'll probably give you a dollar off. Sometimes people do that. I'll put like... I'll be advertising a show and I'll be... And like, when you're working at Kroger? No, I'll be like... I'll, I'll be like, yeah, use promo code code reddit for like for five bucks off and then i'll be like hanging out by the door and i'll just see some kid walk up and be like uh one for the show please they're like 15 dollars and they go reddit (laughs) and the guy at the door guys is like what huh Huh? you want any of these fake ids (laughs) you want some fake ids I told someone too. I was at Kaiju. I was telling people I was they're hanging out by the door. Yeah. And then I was like telling them about that, and I was like, "That's probably why you guys are hanging out by the door. You're hoping that a door guy will show up. You can get some fake IDs. <laughs> That's the beauty. You hang out with the door guy long enough, and you can get an ID that says Lindsay, <laughs> twenty five, and it's a photo of a girl wearing a freshman college hoodie with the year currently on it. <laughs> It says welcome. Class of 2028. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> welcome week. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. No, I got yeah. those scattered around. I'd love for a cop to bust me and be like, we found, we don't know what we can get you for. But, but why? But we have two 
fake IDs. Listen, I'm <laughs> some not gonna, very old mushrooms. I'm not going to arrest you. My question is more just what the fuck? Why didn't you clean out that drawer? Why'd you put all of your illegal things in one drawer? <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't be all bundled together. Yeah, all the, you rubber banded every illegal item together. This acid's five years old now, so you should just reuse this foil or yeah. throw it away. Yeah, just this is garbage. <laughs> it's not. This is paper. Listen, honestly, chemically, it's paper. Honestly, your car is just dirty. No, this is inside. <laughs> I wouldn't keep this in my car. My car is dirty though. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes, and this is going to sound racist, but but forget that black bass people player. are very cleanly. No, but remember, like, oh, black people are going to play bass. Is that cleanly South Park a episode? word? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> cleanly. I feel like that might not be a word. What would you use it? Clean? Yeah, clean. Well, yeah, we clean. just use clean. Yeah, they're very cleanly. They're very clean. Yeah. Black no, people black, do like clean things. They do. Black people probably would use the word so fresh, cleanly. So clean. They probably love the word cleanly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so close to cleanly. I'm a very cleanly person. It's so close to cleanly, though. No. Do you think it reminds me of reminds me. Do you think it reminds me of the Ku Klux Klan? No, because I, I don't think people. <laughs> I don't think people, even clan affiliates, use the word clanly. <laughs> I think they're like, <laughs> they're like, hey, I know this is technically just a uh, 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 my kids little league game, but I'm looking around, seeing a lot of familiar faces. This is feeling very clanly. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling very clanly. <laughs> Hey, this home style restaurant. Your is, eyes are beautiful. It makes me feel very clanly. You know what I'm saying? They'll know he's eyes. trying to feel it out. Oh, he's okay. trying to like feel out the vibe. Where do I know your eyes from? You read your eyes. Where do I know you from? And then the guy just blocks out the rest of his face. <laughs> it's Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> You son of a bitch! You didn't tell me hey, our kids me. were in the same grade. It's me from uh, you know. <laughs> and you just hold your hands up so <laughs> it covers your face except for your eyes. <laughs> I know those beautiful blue eyes anywhere. You know, people are always like, "Oh, they're burning crosses. It's evil." They're doing a lot of their meetings in the dark and the. I woods. just hate that they're all made out of plastic. Is that really what they're doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's an unacceptable. Racial racial tension and the environment all at once. Yikes. Come on. I'm going to cancel the ancient Romans for uh, <laughs> using KKK racist <laughs> symbolism for their... <laughs> Turns out... <laughs> hot take. Turns out the ancient Romans were racist <laughs> AF. Yeah, man. <laughs> They're, they're fucking using the symbol of the clan to kill our to Lord kill, and Savior. To kill Jews. Yeah, that is true. The clan would have loved that. Maybe that's where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> like we tried to do a thing with the, the Spanish Inquisition with their murder weapon. That didn't work. Too out. much history. Way. Uh, do you know how hard it is to build a stretcher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None we, of us went to school for We this. tried to just make drawn and quartering <laughs> devices and light those on African Americans' yards. But the amount of... And then often they'd be like, I don't get what this is. I don't get... What is this? It's a little too meta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is weird. I feel like I'm watching season four of Community out here. Yeah. No, you know about... Cause there's a bunch of racism, like uh, anti-African racism in Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's the only kind of racism in Israel, right? The whole of one of a few. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how they feel about Mexicans. <laughs> we should. It just, might go a little something we like that. Start sending Mexican-like refugees <laughs> yeah. to Israel. Yeah, just be like, it's your deal now. That kind of they'd be friends. They'll convert. Yeah, it's be, it's a it's a beach. Y'all both pray a lot. It's beach and desert. <laughs> Y'all both pray a lot. Beach and desert. What's more, home to Mexico. Beach and desert. Yeah, Israel's mostly Is that the beach hot and celebrity desert. couple. <laughs> yeah, beach and desert. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mexico, Israel is like both. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan yeah. Fox, Beach and Desert. Oh, they both have a lot of drugs. But yeah. Israel is mostly hipsters. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, man. And also, the, the Mexicans, they like stealing land. I mean, they tried to steal their land back from us, you know? I mean... That is true. <laughs> no take-backs. <laughs> yeah, that is true. No gives these backsies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, Mexico is kind of like Israel because they were here. They left. Y'all left. Y'all left. Y'all let this become America. <laughs> and now you're trying to say, oh, we have our now right. Now you're trying to go come across. We're say, trying what, to come across. What and... border? This is my family, my great grandfather's land. <laughs> Fuck you. What's there between you and Ezra going you know, centuries ago? My ancestors, like. <laughs> What's the fucking difference? It's the exact same thing. <laughs> I've been saying it for years, but the U.S. and Palestine, man. We got same we, team. Same team. <laughs> we got to unite again. Same situation. <laughs> we got to unite. Against these fucking gives vaxies, folks. Against these fucking Indian givers. Yeah. All right, we're not going to talk about the Indians. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> This is more southern than that. We gave them the casinos. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we gave them the. If they're like, yeah, we'll take the reservations, and then now all of a sudden, downtown Illinois has a bunch of fucking <laughs> teepees. You're like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> we made a deal. <laughs> we we did a deal, just like Israel when they bought that land for Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> they did a fair deal, man. It was a handshake deal. Yeah, it was fucking. <laughs> it was totally fair. Yeah, they were well within their rights. Yeah. <laughs> to defend their sovereignty. Yeah, we made a deal. <laughs> you guys got all those. Uh, well, anyways, <laughs> you got all the, uh, you know. Uh, that less land that to worry about. <laughs> you got all of that bit. You got less land to worry about, and that's you know, I mean, more money, more Listen, problems. Man, what? I'm sorry. I, would you get mad if I mowed your lawn? I'm yeah. just trying to be neighborly. Yeah. I want to keep. <laughs> I want to make sure everything's going good keep over things here. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's how cool. real just start pitching himself. Yeah. It's just like, what? Uh, sorry, I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? You don't like that I moved into the neighborhood, fixed stuff up, painted my house a little nicer? Sorry. Now everyone's mad? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to increase the quality of life around here. Sorry, I'm trying to increase the value of your home. I don't know if you've seen Yemen, but it's blown up. <laughs> Sorry for uh, trying to be a part of the world uh, destroying your team. Trying to be a part of the final solution. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I was chosen as spokesperson. <laughs> Whoa. What? No, the levels looked really crazy. For some Hell time. yeah. I think they're fine now. <laughs> Is Israel hacking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 hello. All right, yeah, it's fine. No, do you think? Uh, there was that Vice story about uh, computers don't know how to recognize this much fun. There was that uh, China bad. China bad. So the rock. I thought. I mean, you already made this joke, but I thought you were naming a rapper now. <laughs> China bad. I'm Nardwar here with China Bad. China Bad. Doo 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 Oh my god, this is the Narcan that you used to save my boyfriend's life. <laughs> How'd you get this? We have to know. You're China Bad. <laughs> You're China Bad. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the phone I used to log into my Finsta account where I post <laughs> very offensive things. Oh my god, this is the airlock computer I invented TikTok on. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What's an airlock computer? To me, the computer is never connected to the internet. Whoa. Yeah, man, I know some real. Uh, what is that? So you can't be tracks and shit, you know. I, I I got I got some I got some little slick knowledge. I mean, do you, I feel like going on here. All right, never mind. I feel like you're so bad at technology that you maybe I'm just mumbling. I was like looking at it, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, why is it so low? I'm like, yeah, because you're going, oh, this is this I used to have an airlock computer, but that's just because I thought you had to pay for Wi-Fi. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I got my laptop, my freshman year of college, and like, we're on Wi Fi. I was like, I'm not paying for that shit. I ain't paying for any of that. I ain't paying for that shit. <laughs> so you can get me. And then I just walk around the big yellow Ethernet cord, <laughs> walk around the dorm. <laughs> hey, man, hack me in. I know you got two ports. My parents. I know the layout of the dorms. <laughs> my parents wouldn't pay for Wi Fi. So well, would... you didn't go to college, so that'd be a waste. <laughs> Hey, we're not paying for you to have college Wi Fi. No, I'm my <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't. We already bought you the cap and gown. <laughs> You've been getting drunk in them. <laughs> no, I do. When I went and picked up my high school diploma, they gave me that cap and gown to wear. And oh, yeah. I forgot it's a high school thing. You're next to a tree. <laughs> yeah. I wish, looking back on it, I wish I had taken the diploma and then just ran. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> Bolted. The fuck are you gonna do now? Take it away. Yeah, I already got it. I've always been confused as to like, so is the diploma supposed to be like a license? <laughs> like, is that like if if someone's like, hey, you didn't, you don't, you're not an English major? <laughs> Bullshit, I wasn't. <laughs> cops, look at that. I'm a bachelor. Of art. Yeah, the cops fucking pull you over. You, have, you got those paintbrushes for? You have twelve hours to take to your law office and show us a framed thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like how do they know so can, can you steal someone's diploma yes can you sell a diploma I can steal that diploma today you guys are not. can you win a diploma in a race what <laughs> no, uh, no yeah like uh, a car like can you race for diploma uh, can you get two hot rods lined up side by side midnight on a Sunday in the, on the in the in the warehouse district and you go all right we're racing for for lomas <laughs> And then a lady, it's a hot lady, yeah. and then she's got a she's got the cap on. Yeah, she's got the cap on, and then, and then a bikini. And then yeah, and then she drop when she drops the cap. <laughs> That's a broom. Need for speed. Haha, I'm a doctor of orthopedics now, bitch. <laughs> Just fucking up people's backs. Guess who's a certified nurse now, bitch? You know about the chiropractic stuff? Yeah. What do you know about it? I used to go to one. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. Do you feel like it 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 was real? <laughs> not a long term solution. Once you start going, you kind of got to keep going. Yeah. It's not like they're not going to fix you and then you just walk away. Yeah. Like they it's good as like therapeutic, but you got to look at it. Do you think it's maybe way. worse in the long term? Uh I mean if you can afford to just keep going, then no, it's not worse in the long run. So Davenport, Iowa, the guy who invented, that's where the guy who invented chiropractic stuff is. Yeah. And they like train people. Do you go to the chiropractic museum? No. Fucking nerd. But I asked people and boy, howdy, are people polarized on whether or not it's oh, bullshit. Hate yeah, a lot of people hate chiropractic. That city is heated. A lot of people hate chiropractic. Just like how a lot of people hate me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> words divided. Uh, but they find out that you're going to this quack doctor? Oh, boy. <laughs> who wouldn't want to go to a doctor who quacks? That would be nice. Yeah, a quack doctor. What do you mean a vet who specializes in foul? <laughs> I went out and seen, I saw this quack doctor the other day, and he gave me a bunch of fucking uh, pellets for my duck. <laughs> He wouldn't crack my back. He just tried to break bread. He said my eggs were... Uh, I didn't, didn't have any eggs. <laughs> He's like, come see me when I have eggs. <laughs> hey, come see me when you've got eggs, pal. You have to be to Google if ducks have eggs. Do ducks do that? You ever had a duck egg? I've had a quail egg. You know what? Those qu duck you ever had a human egg? No. Quail eggs are probably really easy to crack because they're so tiny. Okay. But duck eggs are hard to crack. And if you've got a thing that you need to crack, you call a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta call, you gotta call the quack. Yeah. You want the quack and egg. If you're ever making a big pancake breakfast for charity, and you're like, who needs to make the, who's gonna make the 12 gallons of scrambled eggs? We need someone to crack a bunch of these eggs into a bucket. 
<laughs> Call the quack. Call Tony Fingers. <laughs> It's weird because chiropractic is like, oh, I'm good with the fingers. I used to go to a chiropractor with one leg. <laughs> well, it sounds like you. I was like, hey, man, you don't even know how this shit works. Yeah. You got a whole body. <laughs> He's like, I, I fucked up. I put my whole bones in one thing. You don't even got a whole fucking body. <laughs> yeah, I kept... Tell me you know how to take care of this shit. Well, that makes sense, though, because he, cause he, he, no, he probably grew up two legs and then eventually lost one of the legs, and he's like, well, now I uh, my body's all off balance. Oh, perfect. I'll realign it. I'll do some readjustment. <laughs> that was my barber when I was a kid, not my chiropractor. You had one leg? Yeah. That's even weirder. <laughs> the haircuts were always a <laughs> I was about to say, that is, like, even weirder. Because a barber is a thing you got to balance. You're like, I didn't like going to him, and I remember one time we were eating dinner. A chiropractor, he can lean on you while he's <laughs> massaging you. <laughs> and the barber can't, like, he's, he's got his elbow on your shoulder <laughs> just for support while he cuts. I didn't like going to him because I just, I, on, I mean, I had bad haircuts my entire childhood. Yeah. But I also just didn't really like him. It's probably really obvious when a one leg guy standing up gets an erection. <laughs> Well, he's very short sometimes, too. So then I'm just looking at him. He's like, oh, I'm just kicking my small leg. I've been to see your pal. What do you mean he would wear shorts? It's just one. Well, I guess, never mind. He's still at a hip. I pictured him losing the leg, and he's now just a cylinder. <laughs> like a snake. Like, try- <laughs> like, like trying to put clothes on your pet snake. <laughs> it's like from the knee down. But I remember one time I I just I didn't like going to him. But I remember one time we were eating dinner and I got a haircut that day. And my dad. Let's <laughs> hope you weren't eating dinner at the fucking barber shop. <laughs> yeah, we were eating dinner. <laughs> one leg guy cutting my hair. I got a big bowl of pasta. And David dad, Lynch is directing. Pork chop for you. <laughs> <laughs> David Lynch meets uh, meets Carmony Corinne. Did you pork chop in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was we were eating dinner at home, and my dad was like, uh, "How's the haircut? Looks uh, good." Which is lying. <laughs> <laughs> and then the camera cuts to you. You've got just below the ear, Dutch boy. <laughs> it's like a long bowl cut. Like I used a popcorn bowl. <laughs> <laughs> mixing bowl pretty cut. much what I look like pretty <laughs> accurate representation and I went I just hate going there and I don't know why I didn't know what this word meant at the time I just went I just every time I go there I feel like I'm going to catch a venereal disease <laughs> <laughs> both my parents started laughing hysterically <laughs> And do you, remember, do you remember when you were a kid and you say something? And oh, yeah. Laugh? Oh. Like, you're like, wait, what the fuck did I, I just fucked up? I did something wrong. They're laughing way too hard. Your mom probably thinks about that moment when getting uh, your medical insurance. <laughs> like, God damn, we call that one. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out he stopped cutting his hair and didn't, didn't solve the problem. <laughs> but I was like, I laughed so hard. What, what, what happened? Yeah. What's going on? And they were like, a venereal disease is like, you know, if you were, you know, uh, with a woman and you, you know, I was old enough to know what. She coughed into your penis. I was old enough to know what fucking sucking was. Yeah. So they kind of just tried to, and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, no, I, that's not what I think I'm going to eat. I just feel, it just feels dirty. This and one the guy's leg, got guys. one leg. <laughs> and also we have to drive 30 minutes away for me to get a haircut from a one-legged <laughs> can, I, can we not just go to Great Clips? <laughs> There's no. This is our loyalty to this one leg. There's no bipeds with a buzzer. <laughs> a little bit closer. Like, what is our loyalty to this one legged man? I don't understand. <laughs> Your dad hit him with his car. Your dad's the reason. <laughs> Your mom gave him a bad stick and poke tattoo that got infected <laughs> and then amputated his leg. <laughs> yeah. When she was, before she had me, when she was still working at fucking TGI Fridays, yeah. he was a bartender. He was a bartender. My, my dad got jealous and ran him over. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he hit him with the uh, cart that they used to collect dishes. <laughs> Came in really hot with the with the fucking hey, it's your birthday. Here's the cake. That 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 thing they hit him. Knocked him over. He <laughs> got sepsis. <laughs> he was supposed to just fall over, but he fell over onto a rusty birthday candle. <laughs> Well, did, did your parents knew this, but they didn't tell you that they're like, oh, he had really bad syphilis that spread to one of his legs. And then you go over, like, I feel like I'm going to get VD. And they both, they both, they both laugh out of uncomfort. <laughs> He's trying to cover them. That sounds like an insane Rodney Dangerfield, like, hey, this guy's like my one-legged barber. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get VD. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at my one-legged barber over here. Who got your hair? One-legged barber? Yeah, so we really probably got VD. What, you barber in a wheelchair? It was of... even worse. <laughs> no, when I was a kid, I thought I would, you'd throw it, you're just fake talking smart. Yeah. And you'd, you'd throw in silly words to sound big. Yeah, venereal disease sounds like a smart word. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking more younger and doing a bit of like... I'm, oh, I'm Einstein. The 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 e equals like that type of thing. Uh, and I would say blah, 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 blah. you weren't doing bits. <laughs> but I would say the word palatio. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think it's a palatio. Concept. Yeah, so I would just be like the quarterly earnings according to the uh, documentary about the palatio. <laughs> And people would laugh, and then eventually I did it at Thanksgiving, and then my mom was like, hey, st stop saying that, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> I did that, I mean, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> I remember one time I was eating dinner at a friend's house. <laughs> All right, already a fake story. What? Already a fake story. You're Slim Bob. I don't like all these. You slander me, say I don't know how to play golf. I didn't say you don't know how to play golf. I didn't say you didn't golf. Now you're telling me I went yesterday. I believe you. And I'm gonna go after this. That was the thing that I was trying to reschedule this for. But that explains why your pants look so so. Sorry, I got a hiccup. Why you're wearing that big hat with the pom pom on top? Yeah. <laughs> golf clothes. <laughs> Uh, that was weird how like in the like pop punk yeah, like finish my goddamn story okay I was just cause it's weird that good charlotte and bands like that were like you know it's punk golf clothes sure. <laughs> well, it was punk at the time they're like let's get let's do classic black t-shirts and stuff but then hey what about my uncle's pants what about my, <laughs> my silly uncle's pants what about my dead drunk uncle's pants yeah um <laughs> But uh, but I was eating uh, dinner at a friend's house, and they were talking about uh, the, like a dessert, you know. Mm. And uh, they were talking about little Debbie stuff. Yeah. And uh, they were like naming little Debbies, and then while they're talking, I was like, "Yeah, or like the anal cream pie, oatmeal cream pie." <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, you eat the anal cream and oatmeal, 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 oatmeal cream, cream pie. Cream pie, I mean, that'd be fun, a funny video. It's a An anal cream pie. No, it's a, it's a born for it's 11 sex. It's clear at the end of the video because yeah. they aren't into it that much anymore. And then <laughs> they've fallen out of love. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then she goes, I like her. I like her. he's like, where do you want it? And then she goes, ooh, cream pie, mate. And then he just shoves it. <laughs> shoves it a little Debbie. Not just in her mouth while they're having sex. <laughs> I guess I don't need to finish then. <laughs> he shoves it in her mouth, and then he goes, "This might be weird, but I like to taste it." And then they, and they get, they eat it while kissing. That just sounds gross. They're like they're making out while eating an oatmeal cream pie. It's just gross. Someone, did someone pouring milk over top. No, no, I don't like this. You know, like to make two people like uh, collectively chewing an oatmeal cream pie. Uh, uh, while someone from the side really squirts milk in their mouth to keep it, really? <laughs> keep it lubed. 
This is like sexual assault. Stop. Stop it. It's a sweet assault. This is some tasty treats. <laughs> Who wants the milk? Anyways, what's going on with you? <laughs> just that thing I described. <laughs> I just been making videos. I've been being the milk man. They call me the milk man. I got an old now. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the milk man. <laughs> and then we have a trying to make Dan and Man rhyme, which seems easy, but it's not. No. Dan the milk man. So you gotta put that still doesn't sound like it rhymes. If you gotta cause the thing is that you gotta put something before Dan, I think. Cause the the Dan the milk man. Yeah. So I still feel like it I guess that actually does kind of work. I the put Dan, I put the name Dan into the phrase Dan the Man. Oh, uh, damn. The milkman. <laughs> hey. There we go. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Ellen. You know what's funny is you watch... Ellen. Like, you watch, you watch, Ellen. You watch a true crime thing about a guy named... Uh, Ellen? No, just any true crime thing involving a guy named Daniel. Yeah. And every few minutes you just go, damn, Daniel. <laughs> Fresh murder. He ate the cheeks of his victim. Damn, <laughs> reviewing damn. whether the the anus cheeks anus cheeks anus cheeks <laughs> <laughs> the anus flaps <laughs> lids what do they call them on your eye or I guess eyelids there's that thing where they're like oh the inner lid <laughs> is that for your anus <laughs> like the inner <laughs> you have excellent anus cheeks I love them my cheeks are nice I got I got really good anus cheeks yeah why don't they do other stuff like ear cheeks <laughs> part around your ear. <laughs> Why do they call lips cheeks? Um, what do they, they call it? They're cheeking the mouth. I don't want to cheek. Well, I guess the lip is kind of the O ring of the face. The O ring? You're gonna blow out your O ring. The Oblivion ring? <laughs> the Magic the Gathering? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird problem. When's the last time you played Magic? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've been too busy hitting the links. That's true. What? Do you ever golf with others? Well, I'm not good enough to hit the hit the actual course. Yet. <laughs> they don't let you. I mean, I could. <laughs> they see you roll up and they go, "We're going to need to see you do four putts and a few <laughs> drives on the." <laughs> I could. I just don't want to hold the course up. You know, we'll like, go off the ladies' little, team. Uh, that wouldn't help. Even that wouldn't help. That was always weird as a I'm kid. Worse than a woman. <laughs> Can you imagine you're a kid. The dignity that I've suffered. You're a kid and you're out golfing with adults, and they're like, "Well, we don't want you to slow us down, so we're gonna have you go off the ladies' team." You're like, "I don't want to go off the ladies' team." Well, the like, ladies' team is like a fucking foot in front. It's but, not like it's a huge advantage. They're like, <laughs> but that's no. They always literally just the ladies' team is a little bit farther forward, just so they can be like, "Well, we want to look well, fast." I was about to say, well, there, and there's also the uh, there's also usually the uh, mirror on the, on the, on the <laughs> giant mirror. There's the mirror on the ground right below the <laughs> right next to where you stand. <laughs> 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 like, alright, the ladies tea's over here. You're like, like, why is Ryan's why is next to the ladies tea a guy with uh, two pitchers of cold water? <laughs> that giant fucking big stick. <laughs> a girl's that gone wild at. Stick. It's about four Four foot wide. Yeah. Four foot wide. <laughs> I got a. This is a very wide go. I have a tattoo yeah. on my crotch that says the, the la Where? ladies' tea just on the thigh. <laughs> it says ladies' tea. That's funny. And then they go, that's pretty good. And I go, you should see the back nine. <laughs> and it says men's tea. <laughs> Fellas only. Fellas only. Gentlemen only. It Please. says professional play. Gentlemen only. Ladies forbidden. Ladies forbidden. <laughs> Inside your asshole. Yeah. That would be an awesome tattoo. <laughs> If you had both, it would be awesome. That would be great tattoo. Yeah, just really like <laughs> tiny, obscure tattoos. <laughs> uh. 
No, man, I've been living it up, baby. I thought like when people get under, like they'll get lip tattoos, like yeah. on the inside, and then they're like, yeah, it's kind of whack though because it fades away after like a few years. Yeah. And then you see them like two years later, and they're like, I can't wait for fuck you to fade off my yeah, lip. <laughs> inside my mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of being cum slut. Yeah. It's not really my thing. I'll say fucked up and did it on the outer lip. <laughs> <laughs> they just did it on my forehead. I yeah. What happened? I was drunk. <laughs> I saw this person with a bunch of crazy face tattoos, and then they had like reddish eye makeup. Yeah. And then I went, Is that eye makeup a tattoo? And they went, God, no. Well, and then I was like, "You have a mil- like you got a knife on the side." Yeah, <laughs> you have yum yums go here with an arrow next to your mouth. Pie <laughs> hole. Yeah. <laughs> you you put you put this is a stupid machine with an arrow pointed to your mouth. <laughs> That'd be great, like those like early two thousand sassy T shirts. Yeah, those come back as tattoos. Yeah, they already have. I'm only I'm, I'm, I can only be nice to one person today, and it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> you have that on one arm, and then the other side it says, "And tomorrow's not looking good either." <laughs> And tomorrow's my day off. <laughs> I take my shirt off and I just have uh, a, a shirt that says, or my tattoo, my chest tattoo just says eat, and it's a photo of me eating. And it says sleep, and it's a photo of me sleeping. And it says exercise, and it's a photo of me playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> and I take that off, and I'm muscular because I've been to prison. You've been to prison. Yeah. I'm doing the Jared Fogel diet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jared, yeah, Jared Vogel get jacked plan. <laughs> Folks, listen back to the last episode. The ad is him holding up a. Re- he goes. He old, he goes. He holds up his old pants and he goes. Wait, never mind. I can fit so many kids in. There. He holds up his old pants and he goes because he's jacked now from being in prison. Yeah. He holds up his old fat guy pants. Yeah. And then he goes, these don't fit me anymore. Then he holds up his old fat guy shirt and he goes, but this does. <laughs> and he sees flexes. You're like, God damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he fills up his fat guy shirt with ripped muscles and Aryan nation tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great guys been in prison a while and they have a series of different gang tattoos, gang tattoos where they crossed out. <laughs> It's like all those Burmese people who had fucked up, like, uh, rebellion tattoos, and then that side lost the war. Like, ah, turn it into a snake. I have a big snake. (laughs) Turn it into the worst-looking snake anyone has ever seen. We think this guy... have 15 minutes before I get killed. (laughs) Can you just make it look like anything else? That's horrific. <laughs> the government's going. We're going to try to crack down on uh, on re- uh, people we suspect to be rebels. So anyone with a big snake tattoo has to prove that they're cool. <laughs> you got a big cobra up and down your arm. You could take a knife and do that thing yeah. on the table where you put the knife between your fingers. Why don't you do a wheelie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go drifting. Oh, so if you have a snake tattoo, Edward Forty Hand shouldn't be a problem then. <laughs> I should have had me play Edward Forty Hand one day at work. <laughs> Just be like, you're gonna cook too. <laughs> oh, that yeah, you can't do that. Here, I'm gonna walk to Forty and take you. I'll tie him to like his wrist, <laughs> maybe, so he can still kind of use his hands. You know, it'd be. And then everyone's fried rice just kind of tastes like old English. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in Dune, where it's all hot, they don't got water. I didn't watch Dune. Yeah. Well, it's hot and they don't got water. They probably would. I don't know what that means. They probably love to do it with 40 hot? hands. Hot. Hot? In what way? Ooh, it's hot. Like, a- like Australia. Is that a place? The continent? The motherland? What's a continent? <laughs> I'm incontinent. We <laughs> did that like we were Simon and Garfunkel. 
Wow, ten guys, I mean, I go, I go, hi, you go low. <laughs> That was an excellent comedy with uh, yeah. do with yeah. harmonize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not often do you hear that. Regular Allie and AJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my lord. No, the other day at uh, work a lady uh came up to me. Shout out if you're listening, by the way. You did say you were going to listen to the podcast. There's a lady at work? Uh, no, just a customer. Shit, there's a lady listening? There's a, Hold on. There's a local woman. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hold on. Turn up the bass. Yeah. <laughs> she came up to me and she was like, uh, hey, are you like a comedian? I think I saw you at uh, Planet of the Tapes. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 that was that was me, you know? And uh, she was like, yeah, I saw you, and you were on the show with, I can't remember his name. What was his name? D-Anal. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like gay sex positions were, like, football. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a defensive anal. <laughs> yeah, I did <do> D-Anal. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the classic D and then fence crowd sign. You know, the big D and then fence with a D and then it just an cheeks spread open. <laughs> cheeks akimbo. Yeah, cheeks akimbo. Yeah, <laughs> That's the sequel to Guns Akimbo. It's cheeks akimbo, gentlemen only, ladies for bed. <laughs> yeah, no, and she was she was super nice. She was like, you were, not to brag, but she was like, you were really funny, and D anal was really funny. <laughs> D anal. <laughs> I gave uh, it to her good. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I made her cheeks hurt. It would be great if she was just like, I loved you and I also love D <laughs> I love D like, What the fuck? <laughs> he made my it made my cheeks hurt <laughs> from laughing. What happened in the bathroom with you, fucking Christy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't say her name. Jordan Goodwill will try to find her. <laughs> It wasn't Christy, though. Jordan Goodwin and Greg's will be half asleep in a car for like four hours not saying anything. And then some anecdote will happen and we'll be like, yeah, that girl's cute. And then he'll, he'll pop up and be like, how do you spell her last name? <laughs> His Facebook's like open. <laughs> no, Christy, if you're listening, thank you for coming to the show. Yeah. I hope you're... Uh, I don't really blare. <laughs> I hope I hope the sun shining on your uh, back and the the wind at your feet or some shit. May the road ride. May the uh, <laughs> may the donkeys always be behind or something. <laughs> may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be at your back. <laughs> And uh, fuck like a goddamn. Fuck like a goddamn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm at an Irish pub. Uh, thankfully, I'm. Not. All right, the comedy show's over. Now, everybody, put your arms around each other and we'll sing the song. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, Jesus Christ. Fucking happening. <laughs> there should be more. We should say grace before comedy shows more often. In Australia, I think I don't know. That would be nice. I, you just get you. You are good. That is, you have no knowledge of what you're about to say. I know. You are completely pulling this out of your ass. <laughs> no, by the way, I was going to say a thing, and I, I I decided after to say I have tr- started shows by saying we're going to do the national anthem, <laughs> and the audience looks very confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, that it, I think in Australia, based off two things I've watched, <laughs> that when you all drink, they sing a big song. Well, they love to sing in Australia. They're all like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, the whole bar is doing it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're making. One big know. frat house. I think it's probably wrong. The movie Sissy watch and a TV scene in love. Watched a TV show, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was referenced in yeah. love. Watch and then a, a movie called Sissy about how girls shouldn't be friends with their weird friend. Sissy. What is that, my biopic? Kind of. No. <laughs> you're not an Australian influencer. I'm a sissy though. No, the whole, throughout the movie she keeps going, I'm not a sissy. Because she's going crazy. But she's not going crazy, she is crazy. Spoiler her. alert, 
She is crazy. She's just <laughs> Not going crazy. <laughs> it's me about how influencers are bad and how your weird childhood friend who you ditched for other cool kids probably sucks. <laughs> you probably made the right choice. <laughs> Very, uh, it is a wild because you watch it and you're like, well, obviously this like ha- happy gal with like cool funky hair, she's gonna be. It's gonna be about how her, yeah, girl power, and then just everyone being like, you suck, and then by the end of the movie, you're like, yeah, that girl did suck. <laughs> hey, if it's about putting women down, then count me. In. Yeah, I thought to say you're gonna love it. <laughs> the only guy, uh, uh, as, he's like as like a. He's like on crutch things. He got some sort of medical condition. Crutch things. And then they push they push him off a oh, cliff. Like the hand, like the surgery. Yeah, or you have the yeah, yeah, cerebral palsy. Yeah, I can. I, I'm bad with medical stuff. He said crutch things. Like what do you mean, just crutches? No, not crutches. Where you have like. And then I realized. Yeah. Yeah. You're stupid. Long arms. You don't know things. Long metal arms. You're very ignorant. I'm ignorant. You don't know things. I, I intentionally don't learn. Your your aunt wasted her money sending you. My aunt. <laughs> she fucking. She should give it all the Black Panthers. <laughs> should have spent that on uh, Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cool. She could have had all the Joker. Bears. My aunt was in early on Funko Pops. She had like it was like the Friends characters. And the Mad About You cast, <laughs> fucking <laughs> the clueless. Saved by the Bell you kids, clueless Funko. Pops. Yeah, uh, that'd be great if I know Funko Pops were like, oh, it was originally a uh, because they started somewhere. They probably didn't start going. We'll do all the Avengers. No, I don't think they did. They probably started as like some fringe thing that's maybe gross. Yeah, they're like, let's do uh, tentacles going let's into do- uh, Monica's pussy. <laughs> I don't know who Monica is. Oh, from Friends. Yeah, from, is it her a friend? Is there Monica? <laughs> She's a friend. Is she one of the friends? <laughs> they're all friends. Paul Rudd? You think they're still friends? I've heard Paul Rudd is, uh... Canceled? Canceled. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Canceled or handsome? <laughs> that's why I knew... That's why James Gordon game I'm gonna <laughs> write in. <laughs> <laughs> you only got like a year left, man. You say you uh, haven't been. Out. You say you haven't been following the news lately. Johnny Depp canceled a handsome. <laughs> Should we get to take over for James Corden? I would love that. <laughs> I feel like someone tried this <laughs> and then they died. Well, uh, both those things sound appealing. Yeah. If I'm trying, then I'd also like to die. <laughs> no, James Corden and us. James Corden. Well, James Corden. Now, James Corden is not involved anymore. They should have a... That's a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> How about after James Corden, they, uh, they do a little post show? Where it's yeah. all the dirty jokes that they had to cut. Yeah. And James Corden, blue. <laughs> no. It's all, the, it's all the... No, thank you. It's all the dirty jokes they couldn't air on uh, Midnight or whatever the fuck that shows up. No, thank you. Yeah, they're just gonna... They're, I can't believe they're just replacing with At Midnight. I'm like, how many straws are you grabbing at? Wait, is that real? Yeah. They're replacing that show with At Midnight? Yeah. I was out. I'm not gonna have uh, what's his face though. My pit, not my pitch, but what I was just gonna say with all this was gonna go. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just don't replace it. <laughs> it's like, I would also- like, yeah, that's done. <laughs> We're just <Yeah>. gonna, like, <laughs> why? Who's watching television? Why the fuck would anyone be watching a late Only night show? Old people watch TV live, yeah. and this show is on at twelve thirty at night. We can just film Ariana Grande singing in front of a wheel, like, yeah. and we don't have to. We don't need GM <laughs> like buying ads for it. <laughs> We don't need the most expensive real estate in, in North America to fucking film. Hey, it's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He's he's, he's dancing. Whoa! <laughs> Anyone ever seen that before? Hey, A man, dancing. Look, uh, Nelly Furtado is doing the worm. <laughs> she wouldn't be on that. <laughs> That's my idea of current celebrities. Nelly. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, everybody, it's a uh, Chris Klein from American Pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god big musical sensation Terrence Trent Darby's here <laughs> Blue 
Flow Riders in the building. Flow Riders. <laughs> Everybody, my my good friend coming next to the stage, Florida. <laughs> no one told me Doc Ice was going to be I wish Doc Ice was here. <laughs> We're talking to Doc Ice. We gotta know. <laughs> we gotta know. The people need to know. Nardwar should interview people, really fringe people, as sort of like a mean torture type thing. <laughs> You're like, come on, man. I did one song 35 years ago. I'm a successful <laughs> lawyer now. <laughs> Here's a photo of you in parachute pants. Yeah, I know. I know, man. I wore them. Come on. <laughs> You used to be really into ska. Uh, don't be, God damn it. <laughs> don't bring it Bro, up. I'm part, I'm about to make partner. Here's a photo of you at a less than Jake show. Yeah, I know. I'm Just punch Narco. I get it. <laughs> I have checkered bands on. Man, Narco should interview uh, everybody. Me? That would be cool. That would be fun. I would like the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Narco. I got, uh... Do you have an exchange gift receipt? <laughs> Nardo, do you have the receipt? And then, he's, and then his thing is like, receipts, I have a receipt from a Kmart purchase you made. Oh, you my God. For your husky pants. Oh, that period. oh my God. <laughs> Nardo, you really do know everything. Nardo, how'd you do that? <laughs> How the fuck did you do that, Nardo? <laughs> How did you know I used to be husky? God damn it, Nardo. I was strong. <laughs> How like people always remember husky? I have this book about eating disorders for you. <laughs> like to keep staying skinny. And then you find out at the end that that's one of the gifts that he takes back. He's like, no, that was a problem. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No man. JK. Nardwar. No, I got, uh... People talk about husky pants. No one ever remembers uh, chihuahuas. No one remembers busky pants. <laughs> you're on heroin. You're no. And you shit your pants. I like Sears brand chihuahuas. <laughs> Just a little twink there. Look cut off shorts for twink boys. Oh, my God. So, I got... I want to get your opinion on this, and this will probably be the last little bit. I, um... I went to a, I went to a show with uh, some people from work. Whoa. Um, a, a friend of mine. The 1975. The drummer. Yeah, we went to see the 1975. You went to see Daddy last. No, no, Daddy was supposed to play. No, this was Sunday. This was Sunday. People who were at our show then went to your show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I saw Andy. There. Yeah, I was about to say the newest Andy in here. And Andy had just been at our show previously. Yeah, he <laughs> saw you there. Yeah, I saw the newest Andy in your Pokedex of Andy. Yeah, my Andy's <laughs> over the years. <laughs> I'm right so bad that I, I feel like when you meet my dad eventually there's like a weird chime is gonna go off on your phone like new Andy has been found your dad's just gonna <laughs> <laughs> your dad's just gonna be like my name's Drew <laughs> actually it's Frank <laughs> and they're not uh, well Drew is short for Andrew um but uh so I went to the show and then we watched the show. The band was good. Um, and then I was in line with my buddy uh, for the merch booth. And I asked him, I was like, are you going to try and get a deal? Are you going to get a deal? And he was disgusted by the idea that I would try and haggle with a touring musician. Yeah, you can't haggle. Why not? Because, man, what do you need? You don't need money. They need money to buy a beer. They, I'm going to pay them the amount that they're willing to accept. That is I'm true. Give them money. No, man, it's that's rude. I'd say get out of here. I haggle up. Oh, everyone uh, hates me for this opinion. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just by a lot of people. But I think it's I think it's because our merch booth was so haggleable. Oh well, our merch booth was that we were haggling up. We were like, "Will someone give us something?" <laughs> people are like, "Can I have this for free?" And then we go, "Can we have something?" Yeah, our mooch booth. Our mooch, mooch, mooch. That's what it was. It was a mooch booth. It was a mooch booth. <laughs> Ours was and a mooch cool. booth. And also like. I just feel like they should know their margins and be like, they're going to accept. And also, by the way, so I, I brought this up at the uh, yesterday at a, a local watering hole oh, wow. with uh, my lady, and she was making Was fun you and some zebras and a bison? Then <laughs> a lion showed up and the scene really split. And I brought it up with uh, 
I brought it up with someone else. And I was like, do you guys think this is fucked up? And they all immediately were like, no, that's really, you shouldn't do that. That's pretty rude. And like, well, why? Why? <laughs> like, I, I like, oh, cause, and then I laid, they, they all like laid. Was in. the band called Taco Party? No, it was a uh, celebrity death slot machine. Well, you're wearing, oh, okay, you're wearing a shirt that looks new that says Taco Party. This says Taco Mouth. And you've made fun of it before, so you should recognize what it is. Taco Mouth? Is that a lesbian slur? That's the, I think that's the same. That's, that's, that's it's probably the same joke I made. <laughs> <laughs> Here, can you hold on one second? Let me just fucking make sure before we, I mean, the taco. Um, but I got, uh,. So you got guacamole dripping out of your cheeks. I'm 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 dripping guacamole. I guess I'll just talk a little bit louder, maybe. Maybe that'll work. That's uh, perfect. You <laughs> <laughs> the yelling episode. <laughs> no, I did yell about it, so it makes sense. Yeah, uh, but the guy they were they were all making fun of me. Um, and uh, I said, this was my version of haggling, was I came up and I said, I think I'm just going to take the tote bag, unless you're willing to haggle on the long sleeve. And he said, well, I'll do 50 for both of them. That's fair. Whoa. That's fair. It was a $40 shirt. Merch is crazy. Tote. $40 shirt? That Jesus. Is what? They were all making fun of me, and then the guy next to me let's just do it like kind of like a duet why don't you just bring this one in the middle <laughs> no that's not gonna work um but uh the guy who was sitting next to me was like I actually run a screen uh printing company and 40 dollars for a long sleeve is like wildly <laughs> oh yeah that's criminal he was like he was like also 20 for a tote bag is also fucking wild he was like, yeah they had all been dragging me for like literally like 50, like amount of time <laughs> Hadn't if I'd been a weaker man, I would have just gotten up and walked away. Yeah, because they were really coming at me hard. <laughs> like, you're cheap. You suck. They're on, <laughs> they're on tour. You're an idiot. No, that's way too much. And uh, yeah, that guy that guy ended up going. You know what? Good call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you get the shirt and the tote? Yeah. My goodness. Um, that's so much money. Well, they were a good band. I want to support them, but... Sounds like they weren't good. I'm going to give them the amount of money. Maybe their music was nice, but sounds like they weren't good. I will give them money, but it's going to be the amount of money that I want to give them. That's true. And if they're they're not willing to take that price, then they cannot take my money. That's fine. Would they print it in in gold? It's 25 people at the show. You're going to make about eight sales. Do you want to make seven? Or do you want to lose ten dollars? That's true. <laughs> no, that is uh no, that band sounds crazy. Bands are insane. Um, but anyway, so the guy, one of the guys who was like really dragging me, he goes, it just because it, it was a guy I kind of like know, like vague acquaintances. You probably know him too. Uh, Michael uh, uh, Hook. Michael Rowland. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I was hanging out with Max Fine. Okay. Um, and uh, Max Fine was like, I sell my t shirts for a thousand dollars, and people usually give me three thousand for them. <laughs> and it only costs, and actually, the guy who prints them for me gives them me for free. He actually pays me to, uh, he, pays me to <laughs> he pays me for that. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, can I borrow five bucks for can I have, uh, can I have a thousand dollars? Buy one of my own shirts. <laughs> can I have five bucks for just meat? <laughs> I'm gonna get a sandwich, just meat. <laughs> But um, the guy was like, man, Eric, man, I thought you were, like, cool, man. This is, like, really, like, I'm, like, really, he was, like, really dragging me hard, like, hard. <laughs> and um, he was like, man, I just don't even want to say it. And I was like, no, say it, man. Like, I don't care. Like, I'd, like, thrive off of, like, negative opinions about me. Like, I love it. Tell me. And he goes, man, I just didn't realize, I just didn't realize that you were just a fucking capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> he said it to me like he was like, man, I didn't know you were like a homophobe. Or like, yeah. <laughs> like I had the same energy. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I live in America. I'm a capitalist. What the fuck are you talking about? Nah, man. <laughs> I was like, yes, I am concerned. Like, Red, red, red. 
<laughs> I couldn't believe it. Well, now we know what bar you were at. He said, no, 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 no you don't. I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> this is Louisville. Every bar has become that vibe now. For those of you listening out of city, Louisville has been taken over by Red China. <laughs> yeah, we're a communist town now. Yeah, it's very confusing, but like... Especially since... And also, I'm like, dude, you're a bartender. You exist off not paying your taxes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and like stealing from the government and like yeah. and like and like just doing everything of like elite like <laughs> you're haggling with the government. Your I'm job is uh I'm just haggling with a dude in dumb glasses. Yeah. <laughs> a bartender is just haggle. A tip is a haggle. Yeah, that's a haggle. A tip is a haggle. And also my version of haggling is that's not quite I mean like just saying like, hey man, I'll buy this, but if you but if you want to make a deal on Yeah. Your, and also, I toned it down because my friend was very offended that I was going to try and haggle. I toned it down. My plan was to be like, all right, so it's last day of tour and you're sold out of all your t-shirts, but you have all these long sleeves left. How about I give you $25? That was my original plan. <laughs> nah, man. If you like these boys, why aren't you being nice to these band? I assume they're boys. They are boys. They're a band at a... And because a I'm a bar. That is true. As we've established, apparently. Are you going to embrace that and be a capitalist now? I didn't realize that I was embracing And vote it, for president? I, apparently, <laughs> apparently, I have embraced it. I didn't realize that I was a capitalist until he was like, I just didn't realize you were a capitalist. This is cool, America. Yeah. We have a different... That guy's like, a good guy, by the way. No, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure all these people are wonderful people. Yeah. Uh, the world just crazy right now. The world somehow rich people have tricked us all into thinking that like yeah, let's all just give each other like church. Yeah, let's just tip. They tricked us all into thinking that tipping each other is like no, we're doing an economy. <laughs> it's like no, you just gave them twenty bucks and then they're gonna give you twenty bucks in a week yeah. or something. And you're gonna, we both agree. The only people making money off this are is the Venmo fee. Yeah, we both agree that the entire city of Louisville is based around a pool of fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, being transported <laughs> around about five hundred people. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just swap it back and forth, and that's how exactly. The city runs. <laughs>